So let's go to our cafe. And I hope you're gonna enjoy this. It's totally a beginner. It could totally be from beginner to advanced. Um, so it, you're just gonna take it as far as you want to. And I'm just gonna make sure we're not gonna go more than 20, 30 minutes. Um, so I'm not gonna even sketch too much because what am I doing? I have, I have few elements. I have a, um, I have a sky, ocean, and I have the land. I have the beach. So a lot of times we will be teaching this and we're gonna be, let's build it. We're gonna start from far and we're gonna build up close. Um, so we're going to do something a little bit backwards. I was thinking, let's try and see. And since it's, it's life, um, you're gonna see if that's gonna work or not. And a lot of times if, um, if I wanna experiment with something, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and see what happens. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use, let's put glasses on, because we've got, without glass I cannot see anything. So I think I already have that. So we're going to use Alker, and this is my palette from last week. I have them in the refrigerator, and the paint is still fresh. It was in a Ziploc baggie with a wet napkin, so the moisture was there, and it's super wet. So I'm going to start with a really wet brush. Now if my canvas is 45 degrees or on an angle, that will not be a good idea too much water, but I don't have too much water. so. Um, actually, my canvas is flat, so water would not scare me. So what I'm going to do is, and this is acrylics, I am going to apply them almost like a watercolor. I'll take a little bit of white, and I'll approach it from this direction, and I'll have this. And you see how I'm moving my brush from left to right? The brush that I'm using, it's angled brush, is a half an inch. And let's get a little bit more. So what am, am I trying to do by starting from the bottom? Starting backwards. This is going to be dry by the time I get myself to that location. And the water's gonna overlap slightly on the beach. So it's gonna give me a chance for everything here not to blend in and I see a little pencil mark here so I'm just gonna remove it use a dry brush and switch this out there perfect all right so I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm going to start with the sky so the sky could be a couple of different things it could be just a normal blue sky and also it could be sky with some fun in it you can put a little bit of clouds in the sky. Um, I'm just going to start first with a blue, blue sky. And it's kind of darkish blue and I'm, I'm using the ultramarine with a little bit of white and using tons of water. So it's almost like baking watercolor with acrylics. This is so awesome when you're painting with acrylics and you're doing this. I'm gonna take a little bit blue and leave it here. And you can actually see how that's spreading beautifully. And go in, take some white. I'm going to build a little bit of a cloud here. So I'm washing my brush, but I'm not washing it perfectly. I'm just barely washing it. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of white and add some white clouds here. And if it's too wet and it's not listening to me, it's not cooperating, I'll let it dry and then I'll come back to it. Because I feel like it's it's mixing too much with my white so that's fine that's a good base for my cloud i'll leave it alone for now i'll come back to it then i'm going to start the ocean part and the ocean it needs to be a different color um different blue so i'm gonna have a tiny bit of greenish into my blue let's get a little bit of green 
And again, white, ultramarine, and a little bit of green. And I'm testing, before I put it on my canvas, I'm testing, testing the color to see the strength of the color. How, how strong is it? Is it too dark or too light? Is it too green? Definitely too green. So I'm gonna make a little bit more blue. And once I get, and I'm not over mixing, once I get it right, from really green, I went to a really nice bluish green. This is what I want for my water. And I'm going to place it right here. And I'm trying to do a nice straight horizon. Because we don't want horizon to be falling one way or the other. And from here, I'm gonna dip my brush in water. And I'm going to add a little bit more of that. And do you see how I'm skipping around? I'm not filling in the whole area. I'm skipping around, leaving a little bit space. And now I'm gonna go back to my white. I'm not washing my brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of the white in those little areas that I skipped out. And look how fast it creates the illusion of water. So I'm Kind of not rubbing it too much. I'm almost like wiping my brush. Almost wiping my brush, right? Being very gentle on the canvas, not forcing it. I'm gonna get a little more watery. And because the canvas, our paper is gonna help me. It's white. So if I am a little bit more transparent, it's gonna give me a different different color. And now I'm gonna clean it a little bit better. Not completely. I can still see the color. And if I touch my tissue, I know I am green, green is blue. And now I'm gonna go in here a little bit more and add more white. And what am I adding? I am adding waves. Super gently adding the wave. So when the wave lifts, we're assuming our sun is behind them on the other, on the opposite side. What happens when a wave lifts is it creates a shadow because it's folding in. And even if the sun is on the top, it folds in creates a little bit of a shadow. So right under the wave, you are going to have a little bit more of a darker water, a shadow. So we're gonna add this. And I can gently move my brush downwards. Make sure I'm green, I'm getting a little bit blue, I'm escaping, and I'm moving my brush downwards. So I'm creating those brush strokes that are not horizontal, they're more like on a slight angle or vertical. And let's get a little more blue with the green. So I'm not over mixing when I'm mixing my colors. I still see everything here present, the green and the white. Uh, but I'm testing it. I'm making sure I'm getting the color I want before I put it on the canvas because I'm painting very, very light. And from this point, we created a little bit of that shadow under the way. Let's get a little purple in here. Why not? Let's be bold. A little bit of purple. Just a little bit right under our white. I'll wash that off. Now it's time for a little bit white with a little bit of blue in it. So it's like a dirty white. And that's gray. So I'm gonna wash that. That's totally fine. And if you ever put a color you're not happy about it, um, the paper, the watercolor paper or acrylic paper, it will give you a chance to correct 
when it's wet so it slightly can take away not completely not really wash it but it's going to help you so let's get some of this white because it's not dirty and get a little bit of the glue on my brush so i just dabbed i got some white and i just dabbed the corner of my brush into the blue and i got it's there but it's not overwhelming and I'm going to add it right here and also when I introduce the color that maybe it's a little bit different I'm gonna go back in and I'll add it in a few places and those waves will get a little bit more of a little bit more white just giving them a chance to dry up. Okay, so there is a little bit of a bluish, greenish. And I'm going to wash my brush. It's almost washed. And now I'm going to take this out. Take a little bit more of the blue white. And spill it on the sand. And I'll spill it on the sand so it creates that transparent foam that sometimes spills and the water pulls it back, goes back into the ocean. And I'm just going to emphasize on a few areas, just a tiny bit, not a big deal. Now, I'm going to change my brush because I really want a clean brush for this and grab uh, white on it and now I'm just going to dab in on the tip of the wave and I am putting ton of paint on it I'm making it more two dimensional and I'm going to do the same thing here and pull it out a little bit smaller far away from those waves so we don't want them to be bold and big. I'm gonna go in, wiggle my brush, and I'll distribute a little bit more white all right here. And pretty much this could be a beautiful card for somebody. Let's wipe this, take this a little bit away. Let's get a little bit of the blue. Honestly, we are going to be done so fast. Now if we want to take it a little bit further, I'm going to go in with a darker color than the sand. I'm just trying to mix a little bit of ochre with maybe a tiny bit of brown. And what I'm going to do, I have to make sure that I'm loading just the tip of my brush. And I'm going to touch up in few areas right underneath where the water is pulling back, but it's still present. And it's casting a, because there's foam, it's casting a little bit of a shadow on, on the beach. So this is what we want to do. We want to make that tiny, tiny, and I'm going to get even a little bit of blue. And it's almost like nothing on my brush. Like nothing. And I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to tone down that ochre with a little bit of brown with a burnt umber. And I'm toning it with watered down blue. I'm giving a little bit of a blue in it. And pretty much this is our wave and water. And honestly, 18 minutes later, this is your painting. So I am going to sign it. Now if if we want to do a little bit more waves, we can work a little bit more on that part to make them more believable. Little a
so this is it. We are done with the painting. This is our uh, beautiful ocean view. Super elementary, super easy. And if you like this painting, give us a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. We will be posting painting or little tutorials every week on Tuesday. So we hope to see you there. Have a good one.